Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Stockholm, Sweden, the capital of Sweden, one of the cool most advanced modern cities in Europe. Great place to go for a weekend and today what we have for you are what you should see and do when you're here in Stockholm, basically our top 10 Stockholm. So let's get started. Now the first thing you should do when you do come to Stockholm is wander the old town because just like most European cities, the old town brings back the history of the city. You go there and you see the royal palace and you see the cathedral, you see the shops and the restaurants and everything that's out there and it does take you back into that old world Sweden and when you're here in Sweden in general you know Sweden is very modern with modern architecture and stuff like that but that's one of those places you can go and you feel like you're back in the old world and it is really cool to go through there and there are museums throughout the old town to check out probably the most famous of the museums there aside from the royal palace which I'll talk about later is the Nobel Museum you know the Nobel Prize Alfred Nobel is actually from Sweden so they have the, the museum there for, he, for here actually they give away the awards there at the city hall which I'll talk about later. Okay so the first thing you got to do is wander the old town enjoy and if you're here in the summer eat outside in one of the cafes really cool to do. Now the second thing you want to see when you're here is also in the old town like I said the royal palace. When you go through you can take a tour when you go through there but the things I like to do is I like to go to the armory so you can see the suits of armor and all the battlements and stuff like that which is kind of cool when you think of you know you think of Sweden you think Vikings and warriors and stuff like that and so you can see kind of the old world versions of all those things. Um, there's other museums inside. There's a whole collection with antiquities and all kinds of stuff. So it's well worth it to get a nice little feel of the royal family and the and the, the history of Sweden when you go in the royal palace. So well worth checking out. The third thing to see when you're here, and I'm kind of putting all these old town sites together, is going to the Stockholm Cathedral. When you go in there, my favorite part of there is actually there's a statue of St. George slaying the dragon. You know, and it's you know they say it's oh it's a life side representation. I'm like yeah, but I've never seen a real dragon, so I'm going to take your word for it on that. But it is a very cool church to check out and there are a lot of cool churches around Stockholm but for me the cathedral one is the best one to go check out if you're going to spend the time and the money to go into one that's the one you should go to. Now the fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to leave the old town and this is actually on TripAdvisor and the other sites this is actually the number one site people have and that's the Vasa Museum. The Vasa is a ship that literally after about and it's first literally leaving dry dock going out it sank because it was not balanced right so it kind of tipped over tipped over and then pff, sank and went in so literally it was never actually out on the sea it was just kind of out here in Stockholm and then sank what's cool is that happened I think in 1628 they brought it back up you know in the last 50 years and they've actually made a museum of it they have the entire thing out and you can see it from the outside and what's cool is they have exhibits all around to show what was life like inside the boat and at that time the inquest that happened when when the boat sank and all kinds of stuff and actually a pretty fantastic museum when you're there and the thing is if you don't like that that whole area where it's at there's other museums to check out you know you go to the ABBA the museum yes ABBA the singing group dancing queen she's only 17 that's them. They actually have a museum here and no that's not in my top 10 but that's over there by the Vasa Museum. The fifth thing to do is when you're going by the, 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 the Vasa Museum you get the ABBA Museum or the ABBA the museum and then you have Skansen which is an open air museum and a zoo there. It's a park and you can go there all year round but if you come in the summer months May through September you go there and they have the historic buildings from all over Sweden there so you can kind of see old historic Sweden and the folk kind of stuff but they have interpreters there that tell you about what was like back in the day in Sweden and it's kind of cool because then you get again the old world feel the old Sweden feel and these interpreters are actually pretty good and they, they give you a real feel of what it was like back then and you get to see the architecture how the workers worked and all kinds of stuff and it is pretty cool now I've been there in the summer and it's much better in the summer than when I went there in March when there were no interpreters there and I froze my behind off and that whole area has a bunch of museums to check out like I said the Voss Museum, Skansen Outdoor Museum, there's a there's amusement park there and if you want to learn more about Swedish culture and you don't want to be outside, like I said, because it's cold outside, you can go to the Nordiska Museum, which is across from the Voss Museum, all in that area, and that will give you, you know, the folk culture of, of Sweden, the Swedish culture, um, the history, all these kind of things, so you get a feel of how people dressed and lived back in the day in Sweden to get, I mean, it's really well done if you like Swedish history, and if you have a Swedish ancestors, I really recommend going to Skansen and the Nordiska Museum because you get a really feel of how your family lived before they came to America. Now I'll just put the Skansen Museum and Nordiska together but Skansen's way better. Now the seventh thing you should do when you're here is you'll notice here in Stockholm there's water everywhere. Go take a boat trip. Taking a boat trip around they can see a lot of the sites, good interpretation but for all the walking you're doing around Stockholm to see all these sites 
sites. It's really cool to sit back, relax, and take it all in from the water. Really cool things to do. There's lots of hop on, hop offs. So well worth checking out. You'll see the Swedes really love their nature. And if you want to get out of nature, yes, you can go to Wisconsin. There's lots of little parks around or hop in the water. You can go kind of south of town and you have the Deer Garden where the locals like to go to kind of relax and, and have the fresh air and nature. Good place for a picnic, take the family. You know, we got our little kids, so we're gonna go there and kind of chillax there and have a free time on our picnic. Kind of a nice thing to do if you're looking for kind of a na nature refuge in the city without the museums and stuff like that. The eighth thing, I'm gonna put a couple museums together here is, what you should know is Stockholm in Sweden in general is really famous for its design. And two of the museums that really do a good job of showing the modernity and, and the kind of coolness of Sweden or um, Stockholm in general is one, the Photography Museum. And when you go to the Photography Museum, you start to understand that photography is an art. Okay, this isn't for the selfie stick people, okay? this is. Photography is art and it is fantastic. What's cool is there's a restaurant on the top there. Go eat there, good food and a good view of the city to go check that out. The other museum I'm gonna put at number eight is the Museum of Modern Art because again, modern design, these kind of things is really big here in Sweden and the Modern Art Museum of Stockholm is well worth visiting. Number nine on our list is the City Hall right behind me. Yes, yeah, some people have it higher on their list. All these places are cool to go, but the City Hall, you can take a tour inside and the main, the main halls there, like the Blue Hall and places, are just spectacular to see and what's cool is this is actually where they have the Nobel Prizes given every year. All, well, four of the five given here. And it is a really cool place to check out to see the inside. It is pretty amazing. Look at the ceilings when you go in. You know, it's just really cool. It's kind of like a Viking house in the ceiling. I mean, it is a really neat place to go. So definitely check out City Hall. And then the 10th thing I want to have you do is leave Stockholm. Get out of Stockholm. And there's two things I'd recommend to do. One, go get a boat and go out in the archipelagos, the islands around here. Go out there, get back to nature. Go kayaking, go take a boat, go swimming, hit a sauna, go grilling. Enjoy the outdoors in the archipelago because it is just one of those things you got to really understand Swedes you got to get out to nature and go and get in the water and all these kind of things so go on the archipelago and another thing you should do when you come here is if you want to see where the royal family actually lives and you want to get that like big you know palace palace feel not in the city but outside you can go to the Drottings home palace I know I'm butchering the name but that's where the royal family actually has its residence and when you go there there's the Baroque gardens and the English gardens that are there that are cool to check out the Chinese pavilion you got the palace church you can go to the palace and see all the stuff out there so you can get kind of the I want to see the apartments of the king and all these kind of things and queen and all this stuff and it is a cool place to go and it's outside so you can again have the gardens have the outdoor stuff and get the history as well and honestly Stockholm is a great place to come for a weekend these are just 10 probably actually 14 or 15 places I you know to check out and do when you are here other cool stuff to do going out nightlife here is great but make sure you dress the part to go out um, eating here the restaurants in, in Stockholm are fantastic from all over the world not just Swedish meat balls but any international fair really great restaurants here so those are my top 10 things to do here in Stockholm what are yours if you're a local you're a traveler and you got some ideas please put it in the comment section below to give more ideas and more help for those to enjoy more of Stockholm anyway I'll say bye from from Stockholm and have a great trip if you want to learn more five things you're gonna love and hate about Stockholm five things you're gonna love and hate about Sweden ten things that'll shock you about Sweden they're all on our website at waltersworld.com also we have them in the more information section below okay well we also also appreciate all our subscriptions and likes so please feel free to put, click the subscribe button down over here and the like button down there as well we really appreciate it anyway have a great time in Stockholm bye